ओके गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद सेकंड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ कोड फोर्सेस द प्रॉब्लम इज वे टू लॉन्ग वर्ड्स इट इज अ टाइप ए प्रॉब्लम दैट मींस इट इज एन इजी वन ओके सो लेट्स रीड अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम समटाइम्स द वर्ड्स लाइक लोकलाइजेशन और इंटरनेशनलाइजेशन आर सो लॉन्ग दैट राइटिंग दैम मेनी टाइम्स इन वन टेक्स इज क्वाइट टायर सम ओके इट्स कंसिडर अ वर्ड टू लॉन्ग इफ इट इज स्ट्रिक्टली सम मोर दैन टेन कैरेक्टर्स ऑल टू लॉन्ग वर्ड शुड बी रिप्लेस विद अ स्पेशल एप्रिविएशन एप्रिविएशन इज मेड लाइक दिस वी राइट डाउन द वर्स्ट एंड द लास्ट लेटर ऑफ अ वर्ल्ड एंड बिटवीन दैम वी राइट द नंबर ऑफ लेटर्स बिटवीन द फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट लेटर्स ओके सो द फर्स्ट कैच इज हेयर द लेंथ इज स्ट्रिक्टली मोर दैन टेन कैरेक्टर्स एंड we are going to write the first and the last letter of a word if the string length is more than 10 characters and between them we write the number of letters between the first and last letter so the number is in the decimal system and does not contain any leading zeros i think the problem is all about string manipulation and is not a very tough problem it is a very easy problem and does not require any type of skill set so yes all my newbies to the competitive programmers uh, you are great guys and you will be doing much much more coding in the coming days so yes uh, continuing to the problem localization will be spelled as l10n okay so what i am getting is that you have written the first character you have written the last character and the number of characters between them as 10 so let me count it uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so yes i think an internationalization is spelled as i18n i think most of you have heard about internationalization if not you can google it uh, it's all about uh, like it is all about multi language uh, form of a website or an app uh, you see an website that is available in more than one languages so that is an implementation of internationalization so the question is asking me to automatize the process of changing the words with abbreviations at that all too long words should be replaced by the abbreviation and the words are not too long should not undergo any changes okay so that means the words which are less than or equal to 10 characters should not go any changes and the other should go some changes as mentioned in this program so the input is first line contains an integer n and each n lines contain one word so this states that we are going to have multiple tests uh on the basis of n like here the input n is 4 so we are going to enter four strings on which the output will be coming so okay let's type into the code i have created a new class already so let's type in i am taking the input as it is uh, using the scanner class and then i will take the test cases or you can say the integer n so you have to loop for about n times here so you can go with any approach like using for loop while loop do i loop anything that you like uh, i am taking for loop for this problem okay um don't get um feared about why i am writing i equals to 
I because I have used i is less than t so you can start with one also and I use i is less than equal to t that makes the same sense okay so now we have to take the input string now we have to check the length of the string so using the function is dot length now the problem suggests that um, this uh, manipulation should be applied if the length is strictly more than 10 characters so we have to do some checks here if l is greater than 10 do some manipulation else we are going to print the string as it is okay so the problem is now mainly about doing some manipulations here so uh, I'm not going to create another string instance I will be changing the input it is string as this I have extracted the first character I am concatenating is dot length minus 2 plus is dot caret length minus 1 um, then printing the string so, I think the prep problem is completed and you the main solution lies here how I did that so my approach is that um, it is already stated that you have to print the first and the last character so I have taken out the first character I have taken out the last character and as we have already extracted the length of the string I think that the difference between the length of the string and two characters which I have already taken will give me the count of the characters that are present between that the first and the last character I am repeating that I have already taken the first character and also the last character and we have already extracted the length of the string as s dot length and stored it in variable l so the num count between the first character and the last character will be uh, l minus 2 I think that makes sense so let me check if that works or not okay word l10n i18n p43s I think that works so we are going to submit solution to code forces okay same set of task I would suggest that someone write a bash script of submitting the solution directly to the code forces platform okay and during the talk <laughs> the solution is accepted so you can see that um, the problem solving and competitive programming is not anything uh, very great or like you cannot do it or it is not that tough you have to just keep practicing here and yes we will be soon moving towards some great problems uh, I will be increasing the frequency of my problem solving uh, and yes uh, now it's time to log off uh, this is all about the video um, yes okay bye bye good night bye bye